Well, I did think I was going to be making a video uh, like this today. The title is, Please Don't Tell Me That. I was very inspired last night when I wasn't sleeping. I had a, like a real deep spiritual experience and felt really, really connected. And yet this morning, uh, I feel absolutely, uh, I started feeling really dragged. I hadn't, I don't think I got two hours of sleep all night long. If I got that much, probably I got maybe an hour to an hour and a half. In any case, uh, I hope, had hoped to do a more inspirational video and not talk about situations that I'm facing. However, uh, one of the things that I've been trying to do, and by the way, I have been unable to sleep during the day today. Uh, but, well, I only laid down the one time and was absolutely unable to fall asleep, uh, including this morning, actually, early before everybody else got up. But in any case, I wanted to access some of my passwords because I just, if there's anything that I, that I draw a blank on, it's the passwords on my computer, on the various programs, and they, they've all been stored in LastPass. And uh, uh, for some reason, I'm not able to even, I, I failed on using the temporary uh, password, and I don't know if they'll give me a second chance of hoping they will, uh, because I just can't, I'm, I'm, I draw a blank on things, and I can't help that. And it's important things that I need to remember. Anyway, um, I was, uh, see, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. And, and you don't know how embarrassing that is to me when normally things flow fairly easily when I'm making videos. But not today. Uh, I've not gotten very much sleep two nights in a row. Uh, and I'm just physically, physically exhausted. Uh, I'm taking my pain pills uh, every every four, every six, approximately every six hours, and uh, I take two Tylenol now instead of the uh, what do they call it again? The uh, the oxycotton codeine. Um, because that was drying my mouth out and constipating me. And it was actually hurting my stomach because I felt like I needed to go to the bathroom and couldn't. So I stopped taking that and started taking the alternative pain pill, which they recommend as the alternative, which is Tylenol. So uh, I've had, I don't know if I should be giving all this information, but I'm giving it anyway. I've actually had four bowel movements today, and at least one or two yesterday. Uh, once I once I went on the off the oxycot, uh, plus that my mouth isn't all dry all the time like it used to be. So there is improvement, and I'm sorry to be talking about problems like this. Uh, I'm going to uh, possibly send my computer. Oh, that was the other thing. Uh, I went to turn my computer on. My computer, I apparently left it on when I went into the hospital. And a couple of days after I was in the hospital, they had a major power surge and outage here at my house. And it was out for quite a while. Now, because I forgot to turn the, turn the computer off, it, turned, it, it gives you about 20 minutes on backup to turn it off. And then it, and then it uh, shuts down automatically. And it closed down Windows, uh, and Windows doesn't open except in DOS, or Windows doesn't open, only DOS opens. And I haven't used a password in DOS for years and years. But that's how you have to go back into it to try to get everything to work again. My son looked at it, and he was unable, so I'm going to have to uh, either get an expert to, I can't even do it remotely because something has to work on the computer, be able to re have remote access. So I need to find someone that's going to be able to restore my computer, hopefully. The last thing I need is to lose everything on my computer, which I don't think will happen. I, I certainly hope not. Anyway, 
that's the situation that I'm in, and I'm not going to prolong the agony of this video. Uh, I do ask for your prayers and support. I'm thankful for all of you that have stood by me through all of this. And may God bless each and every